Sobering numbers now this morning. For the first time in eight years, the rate of premature births in the United States has gotten worse. Premature birth is the leading cause of death during the first month of life, and November is Prematurity Awareness Month. So get this, so the March of Dimes gave the U.S. a C grade because we are falling short of the agency's goal to reduce the preterm birth rate. The report card reveals that babies in this country have different chances of surviving and thriving simply based on the circumstances of their birth. Preterm birth rates were nearly 48% higher among African-American mothers. Joining me now is Dr. Don Garrison. He's a retired neonatologist and Casey Clark, a March of Dimes mission family member who brought along her son Carter, who was born prematurely about two months. And look at how beautiful he is. <laughs> he's doing And you can't great. even tell. No, he's doing great. Hit all of his milestones. He's doing right on track. And, and, and good morning, by the way, to Thank all of you. you. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it, Doc. Um, let me start with you, if I could, Casey. Sure. Hi, I, I'm just I'm just drawn <laughs> in by your beautiful eyes, sweetie. This is your third child to be born prematurely. So did you realize that you were at risk after you had your first? You know, I didn't. Mm. Um, now I realize um, that <laughs> if you've had pre or early births, yeah. that you have a higher chance of having more early births, which I didn't realize until after our youngest was born. Um, but our oldest was born about two weeks early, and then our middle one was born about three weeks early, and he was actually <laughs> Dr. Garrison's patient. And then this little guy was born almost two months early. And is is that typical then, Doc? Well, it, it is certainly very commonly recognized that if you have one premature baby that there's a significant increase in risk for a second, and if you have two, there's a very high risk of having a third. Uh, it's interesting, too. I, both of my children were born prematurely. My son, almost six weeks. My daughter, I was on bed rest for a month and a half, and she came about three weeks early. But, you know, other than maybe some time in the NICU, um, they, they can lead a very healthy life. But we've been talking about these, um, you know, the, the report card, and the reality is is that some that are born dangerously early, they don't survive. Is there something environmental? Is there something that parents at home need to be aware of who are thinking about having a baby? Well, we can't uh, know at this point in time there isn't enough research to tell us what causes prematurity. There are some suspicions, and March of Dimes has been certainly very supportive of research and of supporting those groups and institutions that are looking into the cause as well as trying to uh, improve the outcome of both mothers and babies for pregnancy. But um, moms need to know that uh, uh, there are things that you can do to reduce premature births. Um, for instance, uh, um, avoiding the use of tobacco, um, uh, spacing out your pregnancies to 18 months or more, and uh, various other things that can be done to reduce the risk for uh, premature delivery. Now there are two uh, the two categories now of prematurity. There's the babies who are less than 37 weeks who are considered the true premature babies, and that's the World Health Organization's definition of prematurity. But there is also another category called uh, babies who are late premature or premature late prematurity, and those are babies who are born less than 39 weeks, but 37 weeks or greater and they actually have an increased risk of complications as well, which isn't often recognized by the public. So one of the things that has been done across the country, and especially in Florida, has been efforts to reduce unnecessary elective deliveries of babies before 39 weeks. In other words, moms who just are tired of right. being pregnant uh, yep, and want yep, to Yeah, but you uh, shouldn't do it, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, I know typically they want you to carry the first baby full term, but then sometimes moms on second and third time are like, oh, come on, that week's just not yes. convenient, it's hot, and I'm ready to have this baby. And you do not recommend that is what we you're saying. We absolutely do not recommend it. And there's been a great effort in the state of Florida. The uh, Florida Perinatal Quality uh, Collaborative actually um, had a... Uh, a program in which we brought six hospitals, six hospitals in the state as a pilot program to try to reduce the, the uh, instance of, pre of delivery not medically indicated before 39 weeks. And of those six hospitals, the rate was reduced from around 45 percent to the, around 5 percent. So the effort was wow. very successful. That was then extended to the state 
uh, level, and those efforts still continue, and we are reducing those rates. You want it, the, the, the safest place for a baby is in the womb, of course, getting yes. gaining weight and getting healthy, so before he or she comes out into the world, that they are healthy just like yes. your, your son, who is Absolutely. adorable. Thank, Thank you both you. for being here. I really appreciate it. Important information, too, uh, about um, making sure that you have these healthy babies who go on and live just wonderful, uh, productive lives, right, cutie? Thanks, Thank buddy, you. for coming in. He's adorable, and he was so well-behaved. Look at Thank that. You. Usually they cry, not, not <laughs> him. No, All right, so, easy. so for the latest uh, health news, uh, you can go to newsforjax.com also. We will post this entire interview later this morning on the Morning Show page.